Okay. It's only fitting for today's video. Hey friends, welcome to our last advent calendar video. My name is Emma Lefave. It is the 24th. So we are going to be painting jolly old Saint Nick today. We're going to try and make it simple, but also make it super cute and fun. So let's jump in and get started. Also, don't forget if you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be coming out with some epic videos in 2024. I got some good things lined up that I can't wait for you to see. All right, now let's jump into our last advent calendar video. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay, friends, so today we are on our last day of our advent calendar and we're going to be painting Santa Claus himself. And I wanted to paint this vintage Santa image that I'm seeing all over Pinterest. I just thought it'd be really cute. So I wanted to teach you how to draw it, especially if you're not into drawing people and faces. I'm going to break it down. So here's the image of the reference photo of what we're going to be painting. Um, and I'm going to break it down for you of how to draw his face and then we're going to get into painting it. So today I'm painting on my Arches Cold Press watercolor paper. This is a little bit bigger, obviously, just because it's the last one. And I thought it could make a cute card in the end, which obviously I won't be using for this year. <laughs> um, and then I have my Winsor Newton Professional watercolors. You need a pencil and an eraser. And then I have my two round brushes in a size two and a size six. And the last thing that you will need is some sort of white ink. Again, I love my Dr. Uh, Paige Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink. Uh, but if you have white gouache or white acrylic even, that will totally work as well. So we're going to be doing a lot of the detail at the end with the white. So make sure you have that. And I think we're ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is sketch out this Santa face. So... I'm actually, I actually already painted this tutorial and something happened to the recording, which was really upsetting. Um, so I do have the actual painting here that I did, which we're going to try and recreate and I hope I can do it, but I kind of want to guide you on how I drew it. So anytime I'm drawing anything, I try and look for shapes. Obviously his face isn't necessarily a circle, but I try and look for shapes within that. So I'm going to start with a circle um, like so for his, his head. And this is only the top portion of his face. Cause if you see from the reference photo, he has some big old cheeks that kind of come down and then pop out there. So I want you to think of this circle as just like the top portion and then almost kind of like a rabbit. <laughs> We're going to draw these two little circles and a nose like this. And another cheek here for our face. Looks crazy, I know, but it will come together, I promise. So we have these circles and then like kind of more of an oval shape for the nose and then another circle. And this is just our guide. And if you want to do like go over top of it with a pen after um, to do an outline, if that helps, you can totally do that as well. Okay, so we have the guide of his upper face. Now, luckily, with Santa, he has a nice big old mustache here. So it makes drawing and a beard, it makes drawing the rest of his face actually quite easy. So you're just gonna do kind of like an M shape here for his mustache, which you don't really have to outline all that much. And then for his mouth, it's kind of open. You're just gonna do this open, like a U shape. And then it kind of comes up to a, like a little bit of a point. Okay, I know, looks crazy. It will look great, I promise. And then here is gonna be his beard, blah, 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 blah. And then we're gonna go for his hat. So his hat comes up over top of this part of the head. And we're just gonna do like this fluffy kind of rounded bit, just to about right over where the cheek stops here. Okay, because the hat's going to come swooping in front. So just this like fluffy bit here. <laughs> and then from probably I like to look at like parallel lines of where things start. So like looking here, the start of the hat kind of lines up right where his cheek is. That's kind of where I like take some guidelines for things. So right where his cheek is, I'm going to have the top of the hat kind of coming up. 
and then it's going to come over here. And then right where we stopped here, we're going to have a swoop down and then a little swoop up for his hat like this. Okay. And then this part slightly overlaps over here. It's not in line perfectly here. So it kind of comes over this way. And then there's like another little mountain bit to his hat that swoops down and then it comes more to a point there. I'm hoping this looks okay. It does look a little odd, doesn't it? We're gonna try and just make it look a little bit better. So one kind of big mountain here, and then a smaller one, maybe a little bit thicker. Like that, maybe my swoop is too big. I think that's good. Again, it's not gonna look right. It's gonna look super odd when you're trying to place in these, these shapes. It just looks super weird, <laughs> but it will look great. And I'll tell you, this painting even looks odd right up until we do the last bit of the white with the beard and the hair. It looks odd, but you'll get there. Then we do our little fluffy ball here, doot, doot, like that. And then you can just kind of do like a guideline for the beard, just like very, very light. Actually, the hat kind of comes down here, doesn't it? So let's bring the hat. It's like almost above the cheek, like that. And then the beard kind of comes and skims past the cheek like this and you can just kind of just do a very very light rounded shape with some curves okay so I'm gonna just erase some of our lines that we don't need okay so a little bit of the cheek here especially these lines within the cheek so you only really need the outer line so I'm just gonna do like that and then I'm just going to lighten the nose because I'm going to show you how we're going to draw the nose. Okay, so I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to fluff out the top here so it's not such a smooth line for the top of the hat like that. And then his face kind of comes down and you're just going to connect the cheek to it like that and outline there. Okay, and then our nose is like this bulbous part here and then a tiny little C like that with a little boop for his nose there. Can you see that? So it's like a tiny little C and then just like this little oval shape and that's the nostril part. Okay. And then here we can just make it really, really light. So you don't really have to draw a line. Okay. And I'm just going to erase a little bit in the beard or in the mustache. Okay, then the eyes. Eyes can be kind of tricky for some people, um, but I'm gonna try and break it down again to some basic shapes. So right over top of these cheeks, same curve as the cheeks, you're gonna do these curved little lines. And then not from each end to end, right just a little bit in, you're gonna do kind of this tall mountain. Same on this side. Give a little bit of space over here so it's not reaching the edge of the face. Okay, you want a little bit of space there. And you want a little bit of line on each side. And it's almost like a curve, like there's a little, these are his cheeks being pushed up like that. And this part also is going to look weird until we add the eyebrows. Okay, so it's just like a curved line kind of guiding over the cheeks. And then this like mountain there, mountain there, again, leaving a little space for the thing here. All right. And then I think that's about it for our outline, and we can start painting. So what I would do is just lighten up all your lines. Okay, so we don't see too many pencil marks underneath. And we can start painting. Okay. I know this one's a little bit longer, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. Okay, so I'm going to start with my size six round and I'm going to make some kind of like peach skin color. You can use whatever skin color you like. You want to use brown, peach, tan, whatever. Um, so I like to use some burnt umber. I'll add a little bit of yellow ochre. And then a tiny bit of red. Like so. And then I just water it down. So I just rinse my brush in my water a bit. Then I have this like kind of light peachy color.
color. And I'm gonna go over the whole face except for the mustache here and the eyes, obviously. I'd even go a bit lighter. Always start off lighter. So covering those cheeks like that. Okay. And then you can even do his mouth a bit down here. So this little area. Okay. Then while it's still wet, I'm going to grab some pink, not too, too much. And I'm just going to tap his cheeks. Maybe a little bit more on the red side. Okay, because he has some pretty rosy cheeks and just kind of going over these rosy cheeks here and even the top of that bulbous nose. Okay. I'm just kind of blending it out, not too harsh. He's a very rosy Santa. All right, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit more color of the skin color around the sides of his face and right under his hat, just so it's a bit lighter in the center and then a bit more shadow towards the sides, maybe around the eyes a bit. My, my face is still a bit uh, wet, okay? So it should just blend like that. All right, and then you're gonna let that dry. So while we're waiting for that to dry, um, actually, you know what? I don't wanna work on something where it's touching other, like the wet areas. So let's let the whole thing completely dry. Okay, now that that part's dry, we can start working on the other areas. So let's do his hat. I'm gonna grab some Windsor Red and I'm gonna cover his whole hat. I don't want it too bright. So I'm just gonna move around this pigment, out of more water. Like so. like that. So it's like a medium wash. And I'm just keeping it all the same amount of wetness just all throughout. Then I'm gonna go in with some more brighter red and I'm gonna go around the edge of the hat. Like that. And then I'm gonna grab some darker red. Actually, if there's not enough highlight, you can always lift some of the color with your wet damp brush or damp clean brush is what I meant to say. And you're gonna grab a little bit of darker red so you can mix a little bit of black with your red if you like. And you're just gonna start placing in some shadows. So right here, down this side, right here, around the side there. Okay, just for a little bit of shading on Santa's hat. Okay, so there we go with that. Um, and then again, we're gonna let that dry because I don't want to work on any parts that are touching the hat and these three whiter areas are touching that red and I don't want them to blend together. So I'm gonna let this dry now. Okay, now that that's dry, let's move on. We can do the white areas. So again, you guys know by now when we do any kind of white object, it has an undertone to it. So for this, I'm gonna just do a really light wash of black, taking the smallest amount of black on my brush. And I'm just gonna go over the whole fluff of his hat with this extremely light wash. Okay. And then I'm gonna take a tiny bit more, just make it a little bit darker. And I'm just gonna make it darker around the brim of the hat, like the outline. 
and then right where the red part that's flapping over would kind of cast a shadow. Okay. And then the pom-pom here, light wash of our gray, a little bit more of the color, just adding a bit of shadow there. And then same thing with the beard, light wash of black over the whole thing. And we're going to add more white again, like that white opaque paint, which really kind of makes the beard pop after. So just very light wash. Around the mouth, the mustache, the side over here. Like so. And then a little bit more color just around the edges, you can even do some little twisty kind of curly edges to make it look full. Like so. And there we go. Okay. Now, while we're waiting for that to dry, let's just do a little bit more shading on his face. So I'm gonna take my kind of skin color again. I don't know if it was in frame when I did it the first time. So I had a little bit of burnt umber, a little bit of yellow ochre, a little bit of red, like so. Very, very light. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more shading to the side of his face here. I'm gonna try not to touch that beard. I'm just gonna wash off my brush, blend it out a bit. Take a little bit more of that color, a little bit more around his eyes here, like that, and underneath the hat, and just above the nose, really, really light, blending it out. And then I'm going to make the cheeks just a little bit darker, a little bit more red to them. So I'm just adding some red. I'm washing off my brush, blending it out. A little bit more red on the other side. Wash off my brush. Oops, blend it out. Try not to touch the gray beard, which I'm doing right now. <laughs> and a little bit more on his nose. My brush is so dry today. Wash off my brush, dry it, blend it out. Okay, that's pretty good. He's pretty rosy. Looks like maybe he's fighting a cold, <laughs> but it will look cute after, I promise. Okay, and then let's just do the lips part. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of reddish pink and I'm just gonna do Lips like this. I know it looks weird. And then just some darker red in the center. We're gonna add some darker like black and stuff and highlights and it will look less odd, I promise. It's kind of outlining. Okay, we can fix that after. Okay, so let's make sure everything's dry before we continue. Okay, now that it's dry, let's do his eyes. So you can pick what color eyes you wanna give him. I'm gonna give him some brown eyes, just like the photo. I'm just taking a little bit of burnt umber and my size two brush. And I'm actually going to outline that cheek line here, like so, or like right under his eye like that, outline the top of it. And if it feels easier to do this with a pen or a marker or something, you could always do that too. Like that. Then you're gonna take your brown 
and you're just going to do the eyeball kind of coming to one side. Leave a little bit of white in there. Okay, like that looks a little weird, I don't know. And then I'm going to take a bit of black, like a dark brownish black, and I'm just going to outline parts of the cheeks and stuff now that it's dry. Just very light, the nose, that little C that we did, the nostril, Ooh. the bulbous part, this cheek, maybe the side of his face over here. Okay. And then, yeah, I think that's good. And then he has these eyelashes too that make it look pretty good. I'm going to let the, I'm going to wait for it to dry actually. Um, because I, I want to do black on the eyes as well. And then we'll do the eyelashes black. But while we're waiting, we can just do the dark part in the mouth here. So a little bit of black. I'm just going to kind of outline the top lips here. And then just the bottom. Like that. <laughs> it looks a little weird, eh? And then if you want to, just with a really light wash of like black or brown, you can kind of just do some curves to the beard. So not completely outlining it, but just adding some movement because we will add the white, which will make it pop out after. I feel like my first Santa was better, of course, but it always looks weird halfway through. <laughs> so I'm trying not to be discouraged here. Okay, like that. Maybe a little bit of line work over here and on the poof. All right, like that. And then one thing we can also do while we're waiting uh, for the eyes to dry uh, is the holly. So grab some green, whatever green you wanna use. I'm gonna use some sap green. And I'm just gonna do a holly leaf coming this way. So remember how we did it in our tutorial before? So a line, and then you can just do like a V and a V, and then kind of connect it with some scoops. And then we'll have one kind of coming out this way. V, V, connect it, connect it, like that. Might add some darker green in there. It's hard working so small sometimes. And then we'll wait to do the berries just so they don't bleed into the leaves. Okay, let's make sure that's all dry. Okay, let's, let's lighten up these eyes. So you're gonna take a little bit of black and you're gonna do the pupil here. So the black part like that like a little circle in there. Then I'm also going to take my black and I'm just going to do some eyelashes here. One, two, three, and kind of go around the top. See how it makes his eyes look brighter already? Just makes him look friendly and happy <laughs> like that. And then I think we're ready to do the white part, which is really gonna make it all pop and come together and then we'll add the berries on there. So grab your white ink. I left my lid open all night, so I'm just adding some more water in there. And then I'm going to start doing a little bit of hair. So there's hair kind of coming out of here. Also, no, the eyebrows. The eyebrows are kind of what make it too. So just these fluffy white eyebrows. See, it already looks better hair kind of scooping up over the hat there. Already hair kind of coming out of the side here. Just some, you can do a little fluff on the hat there. You can just start doing some fluff on the beard. Just some curves. The mustache, just to make him look a few 
fluffy. See how much it just brings it together? Just adding giant fluffy circles here. You don't have to cover the whole thing. I'm just kind of just trying to make it look fluffy like I keep saying. <laughs> All right. All right, there we go. And I'm just going to blend this out just a little bit. It's a little bit too bright there. And then a little bit of highlight there and there. There. I'm going to do a highlight on the bottom lip here. Highlight on the cheek and the nose and the cheek. And then a nice little glisten in the eye here as long as your eyes dry. See that? See how that just like brightens Santa up? Like, come on. Just makes it better. Like that. Honestly, so good. Okay. And then if you want to, are those dry? Yes, they are dry. Grab your red for your berries here. One, two, three. You can also put your little white on the berries once those are dry. And then finally, I'm just going to take a little bit of like a dark brown or black and just kind of add a little bit of line work within some of the white hair. Just it outlines it just a little bit. Just on the face like that. Okay. And then you can just put your white on the holly and you are done. Do like a little bit of white there, there. You're not going to really see it. But yeah, that's about it. Okay, I did it. I feel better now that I could, I did it twice. Just slightly different than my first one, but still decent. This one did turn out better. It's fine, but we got it. We did Santa and I think he looks great. So there is our final tutorial for this series. I know it was a bit long. I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed it though. And you have a better understanding of how to sketch Santa. And that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this series. It was a lot, but I did it. I finished it and my ambitions, you know, got me through and I actually really enjoyed that and I hope you did too. So make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about this series in the comments below if you'd be interested in something like this for next year. Maybe tell me what you would like to see in the new year for 2024 because this is my last video until January. I can't believe it. It has been a crazy year. Actually, maybe I need to do a recap video for January. Actually, maybe I need to do a recap video of this past year because it was a pretty good one. So maybe it's not my last video, but either way, let me know what you guys would love to see for January for 2024. I'm excited. New year. I hope you all have an amazing holiday season and a very happy new year. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.